Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Minecraft story mode in the last episode there was a murder and now we must solve it and also there's the little baby ch uh, zombie on the chicken from the other episode he's got a portrait too all right what's up you guys hey there Dan Lizzie Dan oh, the man uh, hello hi there if you don't mind I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation yeah Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. Tork Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Tork Dog. Hmm. So, this rare item that Tork Dog claimed to have. What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I didn't see any rare items in this inventory when it went poof. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torg Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torg Dog fan. What's the deal? Yeah, Lizzie. Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. Yeah, he was he, a douche. Um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Yeah. Okay, that's it for now. I'm not sad he's dead, but still. Hmm. Interesting. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Tork Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah. Something's not quite adding up here. And I'm getting to the bottom of it. All right, kitty. Tell me what you know. Did he eat your kibble? Did you go out for revenge? Okay, Cassie and Sparkles, hey, let's Sparkles. do this. And Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> oh, Winslow, huh? You mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope, what are the questions? Cassie, you seemed pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Hmm, interesting, interesting. All right. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know... Tell it's me what weird, you know, right? Sparkles. It definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. You two are holding back on me. Hmm. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know. You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow. <laughs> Winslow. Thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. You can't play the middleman, Sparkles. Out Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. It's definitely something. All oh, right. What now? Okay, Stampy Cat and Stacy, please. What do you two know? What are you gonna hold back from me? Any suspicious moves? I'll pull my sword right now. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, nuts uh, by the what? fire. Stacy. You seemed pretty curious about what was in Tork Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Tork Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. As the only non YouTuber in the room, you're the most suspicious. Seems like Lizzie and Tork Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Hmm. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to 
happened to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. You're quite jittery, I don't Stampy. know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. A griefing Thanks, thief, you two. huh? This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. I'm keeping my eye on you. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Sturdy, Sturdy Cat. Cat. <laughs> right, right. So, did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Hmm. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare. But it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Oh, now you're gonna well, talk? Now my curiosity is piqued. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple, way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure, supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment. No way. On it. it can open portals to other worlds. That's the thing I got. Exactly. Oh Wait, crap. What? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? Oh no. How did you uh know that? uh. Mm, I actually have one. This is gonna own. put me on the target list. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little while ago oh, to geez, get put that away. You you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know. I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Oh, this isn't good. Why did everyone, I do that? Everyone, we've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died, uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Oh no! Captain Sparkles! Oh my god! They just drowned him in sand! Adventurers, I am the white pumpkin. One of you is the treasure oh I my desire. God. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. I'm too cute to die. <laughs> I can't believe they actually killed him. <laughs> what the heck is hair? Come on, don't run. Everybody knows the white chick that runs away gets killed. Oh, this is not good. So much for a nice dinner party. You don't like the sound of that. See, I told you. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me more people are gonna die. Oh, yeah, zombies are outside. You might not want to open that. <laughs> the cat. Fucking. Oh god, where's the switch? I just saw it. Yeah, flip that thing. Flip it, flip it. Whew. Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. Winslow was about to kick their butt. <laughs> and if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Oh crap, uh, Jesse. They're gonna think I stole it if, if they know I have one. Oh, what the heck? Well, I guess I'm next then. No. <laughs> nope, not happening. Um. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. 
Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. Yeah, I mean, a bunch of the whole place levers is rigged with stuff. traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Before it gets another one of us. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. <laughs> Officer Ivor on the scene. Hey, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? I can't believe they killed Captain Sparkles. Like, the first YouTuber, just off. He's offed. Oh my god. Alright, let's go check out the fireplace. Um, I don't think any suspicious stuff would be there. Impressive. Anything? Nah, looks like a regular old fireplace. Yes, yes, well. What was this dining table? Okay, I guess we're going way down there. Oh no, we're going around? Okay. Okay. So this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Oh, what's this? Okay, let's give this a shot. <sighs> Just like oh my before. god. Greetings, adventurers. I am no It's pre-recorded. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a dummy. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. Hmm. Uh... It must have a reason for it. I think it was to scare us. A warning. Well, mission accomplished. Jesse! He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am it so means... right now. That this oh, house is a big way. trap. <laughs> it means that the white pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, and now he's just watching us get snared in it. Wait, and so also there's a murderer the in our midst. Is one of us. That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Who is sitting on the left, though? And he sat right here. Hmm. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see oh, if I crap. can find all of them. Nice so work. that means... Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. Oh, so what? Now. So anybody like could have done it. Progress so far, though, right? Oh, God. Mm. We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows and these traps... The White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the White Pumpkin could only be... Lizzie. Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure yes. <laughs> sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one, so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. Damn, Jesse's taking charge. <laughs> and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Oh, I'll interrogate... Mm, Stampy! You seem like the white pumpkin sort. 
<laughs> but honestly, who would be willing to kill Captain Sparkles? That's so messed up. I don't want any of them to actually be the murderer. Ooh, nice painting. Nice top hat. I enjoy that. <laughs> hmm. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. Sit in the chair. I, I have some questions. Flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. I didn't see anything about Did I hear flint and steel. That has something to do with portals? I Did don't I? have any interest in portals. I made it. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stumpy. Everyone's hmm. friend. I gotta say, Stumpy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. Nope. Totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Yeah. Please, I don't just think tell I believe you. you. Want to know. <laughs> Petra's like my friggin' muscle over there. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average, average level, moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan, Dan's huh? interested in redstone, huh? I mean, his hair did change color. That is interesting. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. You're pushing a lot of stuff onto Dan here. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I Good see. Good potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> hmm. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. If you have to use the bathroom, it's over there. <laughs> Cause you probably shat yourself. Who's up next? All right, let's talk to Can Dan. You send in Dan, please. Right. Jesse is like super intense right now. Like. She looks like some evil warrior or something. <laughs> Not evil, but you know. Hey, I don't know what Stampy told you, but your hair. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. In the Honest, light. I would never hurt anyone. You've got it's to believe light. me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about. I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Hmm. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. Everyone accusing and blaming each other. Oh, I see. Someone stole your loot and you want revenge, huh? That about the long and the short oh, of it? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want what's rightfully mine. Mm-hmm. I mean, You're... we all want it. Doesn't mean I kill people for it, though. You're definitely on my number uh -huh. one to watch list. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Hmm. Here's my theory, right? That white pumpkin probably stained his hair, and that's why it appears white, or something like that. He's very suspicious. Hmm. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? You averted your gaze. Shift arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Okay, okay. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof. Not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. Weird. What? Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, See? Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some he amazing things thing. with Redstone. Between you and me, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. 
Why are you trying to press her down Keep to Lizzie? Now, Dan. That innocent Thanks, soul Jesse. wouldn't hurt a fly. Thank you. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Mm -hmm. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Dan is super suspicious. Hmm. All right, Lizzie. Time Jesse, to talk. Listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know years, how much huh? it stung to have Dan? Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Wow. Would you kill someone for it? Mm, she's thinking nah, about it. I wouldn't do that. I'm starting to get real irritated with this white pumpkin fella, though. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Hmm. Well, I doubt it's you also, because how would you stuff all of that hair inside of a pumpkin? It doesn't seem very plausible. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You got to talk to Stampy. He was the tri block champion. So I I've heard. So Stampy Cat's actually really good at redstone, but he played it off like he was mo um, you know, moderate at it. Hmm. I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Well, I doubt he still has it, because if he still had it and he is the murderer, he wouldn't be killing people for it. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Some noob, huh? What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. Nothing, nothing. Tell me something, though. Do you think Dan is the white pumpkin? Oh, most definitely. He and I have been competing for the flint and steel for ages. This whole scheme to finally get it seems totally Dan. Okay. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. Without hesitation, you said it was totally Dan. Hmm. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. There's no way he would do it. He's been with us this whole time. He wouldn't have time to build this place. Ah, uh, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. <laughs> they are seem guilty. Yeah, that's true enough. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Ah, uh, how romantic. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. <laughs> Do friends by the fire. All right, you suckers. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jessie was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. All right. After much deliberation, I think the real suspect is, I'll tell you in the next episode, although you probably already know. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Comment down below on what you thought of this episode. And as always, remember, keep the flame alive.